my dear students let us solve this problem with a different style where you will not get these methods in throughout the internet i am sure for that you can just see here this question is asked in such a way that he is asking us to find out an acceleration of a pulley and acceleration of the blocks here so you should know one thing that acceleration of a, this pulley and acceleration of this block is going to be same because this is attached to the pulley here you should take that this is having a tension t that means this is also having tension t this is also having tension t because it is a single row and these two tensions combined together it is taken as 2t and here you can take a 2mg is acting downwards so now first of all uh, what is the relation between acceleration of this block and acceleration of this pulley for that you can use this concept tension into acceleration is going to be constant therefore tension of a block and acceleration of a block is equal to tension on the pulley is 2t and acceleration of the pulley is taken as ap tt gets cancelled acceleration of a pulley is nothing but acceleration of a block by 2 once you get the relation you can take this block separately and study the free body diagram of this block where resultant force acts downwards therefore resultant force on this block is the dominating force which is taken as 2 mg minus 2 t here but you should know one thing here that is this tension is acting on the block so this tension is taken as m into a here because mass into acceleration of the block therefore resultant force in this case as the block is having 2 m mass and acceleration of the pulley is ap and this is 2 mg minus 2 t t is nothing but ma here okay ma so 2 m 2 m 2 m gets cancelled acceleration of the pulley is nothing but g minus a here okay and you know acceleration of the pulley is nothing but acceleration of the block by 2 that's it so we can write here acceleration of the pulley is nothing but a by 2 which is equal to g minus a so a by 2 plus a is equal to g so 3a by 2 okay so 3a by 2 is equal to g a is equal to 2g by 3 we getting okay so getting a is equal to 2g by 3 that's it so here if you want to find out an acceleration of a pulley acceleration of a pulley is nothing but acceleration of a block divided by 2 just so we got so what is an acceleration of a block which is nothing but 2g by 3 divided by 2 2 2 gets cancel it is going to be just g by 3 so acceleration of a pulley is g by 3 acceleration of a block is 2g by 3 that's it so simple it is thank you very much